everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 144, and we're going to take a break from financial stuff just for a minute because if you're watching these videos live as they come along, April Fools is coming. This is something I've always wanted to do as an April Fools joke on a colleague. Let me show you how to do an April Fools joke in Excel, and it's something that's halfway helpful too. What I'm going to do is, well, let's just leave it right here for a minute. I'm going to go. This is the Quick Access Toolbar, and we're going to customize it with this drop down here. And what we want is more commands. and commands that are not on the ribbon. One this there is a if you go down in the S's there is a text to speech series of uh, commands and they're all right here. There's one called speak cells. We're going to stop. We'll add columns and rows. You can also make uh, Excel speak the cells as you hit enter as well. But if you're if you have multiple monitors and you're trying to um, enter from Excel into something else, you can make Excel read to you what's on your screen, numbers, dates, whatever. And it actually does a half decent job. I mean, it's not Hollywood, but it'll work. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all those to uh, the toolbar and click OK. And then all you have to do is highlight an area. Let's just highlight this whole thing and I'll show you how it works. The first thing you want to do is remember what the icons are. This is going to start the speaking. This is going to stop. This says, do you want to do columns? In other words, I've highlighted the area I want to speak. Do I want it to go this way in columns, or do I want it to go rows? Let's do rows. So we're going to set the direction, and hopefully you'll be able to hear this as part of the audio. Present value, $50,000. Total amount of the series of future payments is worth now. Rate, 7.50%. Interest rate per period. It's not Hollywood. <laughs> it's not Hollywood. But what it is, is number one, a clever April Fool's trick to play on somebody, especially if uh, you were to accidentally not put stop on, on your quick access icon bar. <laughs> that would be uh, even better. But it, um, the serious application is if you do have multiple monitors, you've got something you're trying to get Excel to read to you and you've got to do data entry. This is a clever way to make Excel do data entry for you. Threw that in for a little April Fool's fun. Stay tuned next time. We'll go back and we'll do some more financial stuff. We've done the present value. We've done uh, the payment. There's still rate and periods and future value that we can play with coming up. Thanks for watching.